Hello, trading is closed on April 12th, 2022. Let's do our disclaimer, go over our calls, make some predictions for tomorrow. It's my trading plan for Wednesday, April 13th. Remember, I can be wrong. Any trade one makes should be at one's own risk. Look for the pattern with the early high, which is this. Tomorrow we should see the pattern with the early low. I thought yesterday's action was quite negative and looked for lower prices. We did see the lower prices, but I get no credit because there's a standard rule that gapping sharply in the undesired direction kills the call. We gapped sharply higher, so the call for lower prices was killed before the open. Not only do we gap higher, but since the open can substitute for yesterday's close, we actually got a delayed normal pattern with a high over the prior high at the end of the day. So the normally negative pattern was invalidated before the open. It doesn't mean we're not going to see lower prices. It just means that before the open, you knew the pattern calling for it uh, no longer did because it was invalidated. We had this drop all day long. Here's your close. Here's your midday low. We closed over it. It's actually a positive sign. Now, it doesn't mean it can't be invalidated tomorrow. We get down tomorrow, take out this low. That doesn't mean a thing. But for now, at least, this would justify a higher price tomorrow. There's also a higher MJT target 44.37.22. And bearish as today was, if we don't gap down tomorrow, the rules call for that printing. Now, we have a cluster here of other targets that didn't print. And when you're in a strong impulsive move, which is what I'm calling this, that's when these targets are less likely to print in their preferred time frame. But uh, rules are rules, and that's the call for tomorrow if we don't gap down. Just be aware it might not work. Early on, we got an ultimate sell signal. That clearly worked. We have an optional higher target, 44.61.45. If it doesn't print tomorrow, we forget it. I'm just thinking that's just not going to happen. That's why I didn't write it on the other page. If it happens, it happens. But I'm not going to risk any money on it at this time. This drop is called unsustainable by the system. It gives us a target of 44.37.22. Well, here's our long-term count. We're thinking that we're in wave green C down, excuse me, gray C down, of green C down. And when that's through, we're going to continue railing. So we're trying to find where this wave ends. Let's focus in on this. Here was your A, here's your B. This B, this wave here, is right at a 61.8% retrace of the entire drop. So you've got Fibonacci support right at this low. I'm not saying that's the end of wave gray C. It just doesn't look like it to me. But if you measure the height of gray A, You've got A equal to C right at today's low. So if some kind of miracle happens in the market and we start zooming higher, which I'm certainly not predicting, you would count this pattern as complete. Now that's not what I'm predicting, but if I could guess, I wouldn't have to have rules. And at least this is one point where you've got good Fibonacci support a higher MJT target and a big drop which couldn't close under the midday low. Seems a bit hard to believe that could be the end of it, but um, you got support. Now I'm counting this as one and this is two, and we should be in wave three down, which I don't think is ended. But it's also possible to count this as A. It's possible to count this as B. 
And if this is an ABC for C and you measure C of C, there's good wave balance with A. So I'm not saying that's the right count, but at least if something happens and we start going up, you've got an explanation. Frankly, I think we have lower to go, but I'm not ruling out railing tomorrow. Tomorrow's pattern has the early low we could still give up. Typically, it's a rally day with a final hour high. If it's weak instead, more weakness should follow in days to come. There's a higher MEJ T target unless we gap down smartly the rules favorite printing. Because we're in an impulsive wave lower, the target could fail to print in its preferred time frame, but that's what the rule says. There's Fib balance at today's low and a mini volume spike in the E mini contract. Sure isn't the kind of volume spike I'd like to see at a real low, but it's there. The day long drop could not manage to close under the midday low. All these things make a bounce likely tomorrow if today's low hold, and I'm not saying it will or it won't, but if it holds, it makes a bounce and probably a decent bounce likely. I'm leery of playing for bounces without close stops in this environment. As I have lower targets, I think they're likely to print. So this is pretty ugly stuff, but it doesn't stop us from recovering tomorrow, maybe even as high as 44.37.22, if we can hold on to this low. Tomorrow has the early low. Usually it's a rally day, and that's today's call.